Hi, my name is Hope Shen. Um, I was Vappy Vap 88's sister. My brother's name was Jonathan Shen. He was a 31 year old, um, really nice guy who did a lot for YouTube. I know he made a lot of videos for Vinny Vine Sauce and he really used to like um, working for Vinny Vine Sauce a lot. This morning, April 22nd, 2020, at 9.30 a.m. EST, Jonathan had a cardiac arrest, um, and during the phone call the doctor gave to me, um, they lost his pulse for a second time, and he left this world. I really want to say thank you to everyone who was his friends and treated him like family. He really cared about you guys a lot, and the number of messages I got from everyone was really overwhelming. I just wanted to post this video to his YouTube channel and let all of you guys know that this will be the last video he's ever going to post, and um, we really appreciate all the nice comments and the funny times you had with my brother. I wasn't really involved that much in his life, but I know that he really liked you guys and was glad that you guys could share these moments together. Um, my brother's co-workers created a GoFundMe page for his uh, funeral and it paid off some of the debts that he still owes, so um, I'll be linking it in the description. And um, once again, thank you everyone. Please stay safe. He had a long four week battle with COVID-19. He was really critical and he couldn't breathe. His oxygen saturation was 80%. They intubated him. Three weeks later, he got a tracheal surgery to put the tube into his throat. And then he started to improve a little bit more, but after three days of being on the tracheostomy, all the drugs that he was given, they just wasn't enough for him. His body couldn't take it. Uh, he was on a lot of sedating drugs, pain medications, um, things to kind of help him breathe better, make him comfortable. He was on steroids. He got the COVID treatment, the Z-Max with the Plaquenil for the first five days he was in there, and then he was up for the donation list to get plasma, but he didn't get the plasma fast enough, so we don't know if it could have saved him, but I'd like to believe that the staff that he had did everything that they possibly could have, and he went down fighting. He went down knowing that he wanted to stay alive for his family, his mom, me, and his friends. Um, if you can, please keep him in your hearts. If you can't donate, then please stay safe, please wear a mask, please don't get other people infected. You think it's not a big deal, and I didn't think it was a big deal when I first heard about the COVID-19, but after this happened, I can't imagine anything more painful to lose my brother to something that is so preventable, and I know everyone wants to get back to work, but the absolute amount of pain and suffering that we went o over the last four weeks was so hard, but thank you everyone. Please stay safe, and Johnny, I love you, and I'm really sorry. I wish I could have been there for you.